All right, let's see if let's see if I can do this before I lose daylight. This is a, a Friday, July twenty sixth, I think, two thousand nineteen. KTM five hundred EXCF. The um, speedometer, odometer, clocks, as some people call it. The battery is dead. And the way I realized this was um, speedometer work, the hour count was good, uh, the mileage count, the uh, odometer is good, but it kept losing its clock settings. And that is indicative of the little um, uh, 2430 battery. And I'm looking through the camera here. This is hard to do, but at the same time, this uh, camera is mounted to the handlebar, uh, actually to the mirror. So it's going to be really shaky. This is just a quick and dirty before I lose daylight. But um, it's fairly easy to get into this. It's almost silly to make a video, but I have actually heard some people say they didn't know what was going on. I don't, why isn't my, every time I turn the key off, my, um, my clock loses its, uh, setting and, and I lose my trip meters. That's the, the main thing I think people are worried about. So this is really easy to get to. Uh, the Husky, even though it's a very similar bike, is actually harder. Um, this one's pretty simple. So uh, we're going to release these rubber bands down here. And the one on the other side. And this freeze and there's, uh, there's two little uh, nipples that go down into holes on the fender. You lift that up out of that. Being a little bit less than heat. There we go. So this is all loose now. Okay. Gives you some ability to, to move behind here. And underneath here, in fact, I don't want to scratch up my fender. I'm that OCD. I'm going to put a rag underneath so I don't dig around on my fender. It's probably going to be some foot traffic through here in a minute. Um, anyway, there's two screws. One under here and one under here. And I'm not going to change camera angles or anything, but basically you just take your T20... And your handy dandy Harbor Freight, or actually this is Home Depot, I think, uh, ratcheting screwdriver. And you undo these screws. So sorry for the shakiness. And there's a wire harness right here that needs to be unplugged so that you can get to it, to the screws. Pull that out of the way. Remove these screws, these T20s. Trying really hard not to drop them because even though this camera does pretty well in low light, I old iPhone 6 though. Um, it's actually getting pretty dark pretty fast. So I just stuck it in my pocket by habit. It's just a T20. There's one on each side. Do the other one now. I have to basically snake up through all these wires. This side's a little bit easier to get to. Don't drop it. Almost dropped it. You drop it, you know, it's gone forever. Absolutely gone forever. Okay. So that's a done deal. Now we take a quarter, good old fashioned, or any coin really. This just, make sure I'm still in frame here. This just lifts out. It's got like rubber bushings here on each side. Can you see that one? And this, pick this up, 
turn it around and right there put our quarter on that and turn it pull this cover off don't use a screwdriver on it you chew it up and we have to try to fish this battery out of here we actually may need a knife or a sharp edge I don't have a fingernail to uh, dig it out and I really hate to pause the camera but I think I'm gonna have to pause the camera scissors Grab something with an edge. Don't try this at home, kids. This is the wrong way to do it. So I'm just going to be very careful. Grab the edge of it. Hey. What's that? I like the bike. Thank you so much. And there comes the battery. 2430. It's not real common. It's not like the, what is it, uh, CR. 2032s I think that are real common but it's just a button battery it's exactly I know from experience it's exactly the size of a quarter uh, just for reference so where's my quarter there's a quarter it's exact so yeah all right so that's the old one out and Gonna open up the new one. Daylight don't fail me now. With my million year old scissors. And that's the new one. Energizer, don't let me down. And we're just gonna can you see in there a little bit right there just gonna pop it in make sure it clicks in place instead of going flying across the yard doesn't want to go in Come on now. Come on. There it goes. Clicked into place. All right. And I know people are laughing, going, this is a ridiculously, stupidly easy process. Yeah, 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 it is. But some people don't know what's involved. So now we put the cap back on. turns like an eighth of a turn that's back in place and then these posts where the screws go up in here go back in the bushings let's try not to have it upside down shall we that would be really bad if I Put it all back together and realized I did it upside down. Okay, so that's back in place. That's not going anywhere. That's firm because of those bushings. Sorry, this video is so dark. Next, I'm just reversing the process. I'll put the screws back in. 
Motorcycles, kitty cats, and a man. <laughs> <laughs> it's maintenance time. So, screws. I go back up in here. It's really hard with all the wiring to get a straight alignment with the screw, but it's critical because. It's plastic. It's just a plastic tube, plastic threads that this goes up into. And man, you don't want to mess those up. I think this is probably the hardest part. And I'm still going in crooked. Maybe not. ratcheting thing is done. Let's stop ratcheting. That's not completely tight yet. I'm going to get the other one in place first. Which is easier. It aligns easier. It's easier to go in straight. the screw. People are probably going to have a lot of foot traffic now. Are these all your cats? Uh, yes and no. Yeah, they, <laughs> yeah, they, uh, I, I claim them all, uh, feed them all, yeah. but they, they're only a couple that are actually tagged. Yeah. They're also cute. Those little babies are cute as they can be, but they skid it more. It's my babies. Sorry for the distractions. Definitely don't want to tighten that too tight. It's plastic. It's a metal screw going into plastic. It's not some major critical emergency life-saving component. It's just got to be snug. Not even, I'll just say half snug. Okay, so that's in place. We are seriously running out of daylight. Let's plug in this wiring harness again. It's one plug that's hiding. There it is right there. Can you see it? It plugs back in. All I, The only reason I unplugged it was so I could get a straight screwdriver run. Torx. T20 blade straight. I can't get a grip on it. That's the trick here. To get it in there tight. I have small hands and I still have limited mobility in here. There it goes. Okay. So now. We put the little feet down in the holes on the fender like so that should technically maintain some sort of a preservation of the of the headlight positioning but it won't I'll have to noodle with it quite a bit before it's right and then these rubber bands have to fish back through here around the tops of the forks Line straight with the top of the triple tree flush. Really tight. I'm actually going to need a tool for that, I think. It's not 
one around there. Let me go ahead and pull this other one around. Mosquitoes are tearing me up. Well, I'll leave that with that. I've got to go get an edge. A little screwdriver to kind of splice around the side, but suffice it to say that's fixed. So I put the key in. Let's hope we have a display. Of course, the clock and all that will be off. Yay! There it is. So we're good. I just got to get those rubber bands on there tight. So, hope somebody benefited from this. See ya.